Okay, let's now go to our custom character folder. Let's create a new folder. Animations. Open it. Now right click, animation, animation blueprint. Now select your skeletal mesh and OK. I'll rename it to John Lego Anim underscore BP. Now open it. Go to event grab. Let's move it here. OK, let's first check if our pawn is valid in order to avoid any error. Connect this circuit. Now let's cast this to our character. Connect this to object. Now let's add a is falling node in order to check if our character is falling. Uncheck the context sensitive so is falling can be shown. Now promote this to a variable. I'll name it is falling. This will help us to set up the gem state later. Connect to this variable. Press C to comment this as the falling state. Now let's get our character velocity. So we can use it later to control the idle run state. Connect to the socket. This is a vector. In this case, we'll need the magnitude of this vector, so we'll ask for the vector length. Promote this to a variable. Speed. Okay. Let's connect this. Comment this as speed. Okay, now let's move on to get the direction. Get actor rotation. Connect this. Now let's add a calculate direction node. Connect actor rotation and velocity to the sockets. Promote to a variable and I'll name it direction. Connect to the line. Comment this as direction. Let's now go to the animation graph to setting up our states. Right click. State machine. Connect this to the output pose. Open it. Let's add the first state. I will run. Now let's add the second state. Jump. This state also comes back to the idle run state. So let's connect it again. And that's it. Let's now compile and save. Okay, let's now back to our animations folder. Right click, animation, blend space 1D. Select your skeleton, and this will be John Lego underscore BS. Open it. Here we have our animations. Let's drag the idle to the beginning and the running to the end. Now let's change the name to a speed because this variable will trigger the transition between idle and running. Now the global interpolation scale to 5. If you hold shift and drag your mouse, you will see how this transition will occur.
Okay, let's save. Now let's come back to our animation graph. Now open the idle run. Drag the blend space. Connect it to the output. And drag the speed variable. Let's compile and save. OK, let's back to our state machine. Open the jump state. Drag your jump animation. And connect to the output. Compile and save. Go back to the state machine. And now let's set up the rules for the transition between states. First, the idle to jump. Open it. Let's drag our variable is falling. Let's connect it as true to the result. Compile and save. Go back to the state machine. Now from jump to idle run. Once again, our is falling variable. If it's not true, this will come back to the run idle animation. Let's compile and save. Go back to our state machine. Now it's fully set up. I will rename this to locomotion. Let's compile and save. OK, now let's close this. Finally, let's go to our character blueprint. Open it. Go to viewport. Select mesh. Animation class. And select your animation blueprint. OK, compile and save. Now let's see if it works. OK, as you can see, it starts in the idle animation. Now let's run. OK. Let's now jump and everything works fine. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.